Hello guys, my name is CyberWorldSec and welcome to another video on TryHackMe. Today we are going to do Corridor. So this is a very very easy room and a very beginner friendly room. So I'll try my best to explain this room as much as I possible can. So basically you need to start your machine over here. And once you start it, uh, you can have a look at this. And there are like some hints in this over here, but let's not look at the hints. Alright, let's just uh, go and access the website. So this is the IP address which they have given. So again, the IP address would be different according to your browser. So well, I just need to copy and paste that IP address. So as you can see, this is the very landing screen of the page. All right. So uh, usually people start with the Nmap scan. So you can see that there's this port 80 which is open. Uh, those are filtered. So there aren't anything running on other ports. Um, so let's start with this. So firstly, whenever I see this, I will, you know, like try looking around somewhere. So you can see that um, we can go in these pages. So I can go inside. Yeah, you can see that there is uh, this value which is coming up. And once I click on the door, I'm going inside. Let's see what inside the door. Okay, since it is taking some bit of time. I will just go somewhere else as well. So this is okay. So this is inside the corridor. It looks like an empty room. All right. Now let's look at some other room. Let's look at this. So all of these rooms are like nothing. There's just this nothing much is there. All right. It's just like one value is there and then we are inside. But if you look at this value, Okay, let's uh, one more thing. Let's do this. Let's press Control U or uh, let's see the source code, uh, like view source code, uh, view page source. And once you look at the page source, you can, will come up across something like this. This is the code of the page. Now let's look at the code of the main page as well. Uh, where is it? View. Okay, this is an image. Uh, inspect element. Uh, where's? I can't see the view. Okay, let's just press Control U, and you can see this is the source code. So, as per the source code, this is also another room. It's empty. As you can see, as per the source code, these titles are similar to these. For example, this thing is there over here. All right. So, uh, these are like uh, whenever you click on one of these doors, you will go somewhere over here. Now, what you need to do is basically. I need to think like what value is this so anything what it, this could be base 64 or anything like that you know what if we can decode this value and think and come up like what is this value so for one of the rooms I have copied this value all right so let me copy this let me paste this now how do I know what is this uh, so this is not a base 64 right Let's see it doesn't look like a base 64 to me it doesn't even end with equal to equal to uh, next up you can guess how you can guess it uh, guesses is you can use hash identifier maybe is this is a hash all right so once you have hash identifier you can put in your hash you can paste in your hash and then hash identifier will give you an output which will tell that this is the possible hash so according to hash identifier it is possibly an md5 also there was a hint uh, you can say that it looks like a hash doesn't it so which kind of hash is it it's mt5 how we know by looking at hash identifier in kali linux all right now we know since it is md5 we can search for md5 all right so let's for look for md5 but this doesn't decrypt it i want it to be decrypted right so let's go to crack station um crack station yeah so the reason we can use like uh, other john the ripper and as well as well but i'm using crack station because um you know crack station quite easy for quite fast see so the value for this particular hash is seven all right now let's look for some other room let's look for this room maybe and let's look at the hash for this room okay now what's the hash for this room uh, okay, this is a uh, invalid room. Or did I not copy it properly? Yeah. Okay. 
okay yep now this one is nine so we got one of the crash results uh, cr this is hash results was seven this hash result was nine so you can see that the changing the hash results will change the room all right so basically this might actually the what the person did is he might have put some id like one belonging to some other room two some other room three other room four other room like that so and before just putting rather than just putting the room he thought he'll if he put some unique id the attacker will not be able to guess the id so even if there is an id or attack the attacker is not able to guess the id right so it would become difficult but what he did is he just used a hash this hash came from a simple number one two three four five six seven which we can guess all right so since we know the hash for nine was this uh, four five thing which we know so maybe the admin hashes room is zero or one or two or three let's try with zero so once i try with zero i get this as my value and i will try for this room and let's see so according to this this is the zeroth room with the slash zero converted to hash again an idr attack giving the flag and once we have the flag we can just you know paste it down over here okay pasted it twice i guess let me submit this yep that's it that's all that's needed in this room I know thanks a lot guys I know this was quite a easy room but it's just that if you need any suggestions or any other rooms which I, you want me to solve just put it down and I know it's been a long time so like share and subscribe see you next time